we have a PS5 controller here and some of these buttons are not working. So we're going to try to figure out what's going on here. First, we're going to log in to Gamepad Tester where we could test our controller. And if we notice here, our square, X, O, and triangle are not working. Also the left, down, up, and right pad is not working. So we, we have the L2 and R2 is working, L1 and R1 is working. Joysticks are fine. These two are working. But if we check this one or this one, they're not working. So what we're going to do is open it up and see what we have to do to get this fixed. So we're going to need like a little screwdriver and a prying tool. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this shell here, this molding. And that's going to expose two screws right here. We're going to unscrew and we're going to take the L1 and R1 button off. And it's going to expose two more screws, which we're going to unscrew. Now there's two little clips here that we're going to unhook. And now we should be able to peel the controller apart. So now that we have the controller peeled apart, uh, we're going to try to access the circuit board for these buttons here. So to do so, we're going to have to remove the motherboard and basically everything here. So let's start with the battery. And we're going to unscrew this screw, which holds the battery case in place. We're going to take off these ribbon cables. This one. And this one. And then we're going to take off these ribbon cables here. And now we could take this and just turn it around here. Now to get the inner shell out, we have to unscrew this one and this one, as well as this one and this one. This is only on the first gen. So if you have a second gen controller, you're not going to have this bracket here. You're just going to have these two screws to unscrew. Okay, now we could take this off. So this strip here is the one that controls the D-pad and the triangle, circle, X, and square. So a few things that we need to do here. First, we've got to make sure that all of the connections are here are good. And we also have to make sure that this connection here, which is connecting basically to the motherboard connects right here. So we're going to make sure that this connection and this connection are good. And we're going to clean here and we're going to clean it here just to see if maybe it's a bad connection there, uh, if cleaning solves the problem. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. Uh, first, we're going to disconnect it from here. And we're going to also disconnect it from here. So I'm going to use this electronic contact cleaner to clean this strip to see if this solves the issue. And I'm also going to spray some just a little bit right here. So this evaporates really quick. So now it looks like it's dry. We could put it back and see if this did the trick.
So we want to put all these screws here back, these ones and these ones, just to make sure that it's very nice and tight. So the connection there is stiff. And then we can give it an accurate test. So we want to put this board back here as well. And we want to make sure that this connection, this one and this one, is very tight as well. So we're going to have to take the one of the screws and tighten the motherboard tight. So when we test it, it we make sure that the connections are all tight and as they're supposed to be if the controller was to close, be closed. So now we're just going to take this screw here and place it here to tighten this connection. So it's nice and tight. And the test that we're going to do here is going to be valid. So here we go. Just need to insert the battery. Okay. Let's see. Oh, one works. Works, 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 works. So it looks like the controller just needed to do some cleaning because uh, one of the connections wasn't working. I think it was the connection here since all of the buttons were not working. If it was maybe one or two buttons not working, then you might have just to clean this area on that flux cable. But since all of these were not working, it might, must have been this connection here that was not working. So after cleaning it, uh, it started to work again. So yeah, uh, this is a pretty good uh, item. It helps me with a lot of the controllers to clean them out. Uh, or to fix the stick stick drifts, you could just take this and um, while I'm here, let me just show you real quick. Take this and spray it inside the cube. And you would open the potentiometer here and you would spray it in there also. So if you guys uh, found this video helpful, uh, leave a like, subscribe, uh, and thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you guys out and you guys could do it yourself and not spend money on a new controller because a lot of the times uh, the, the issues, um, they're pretty small. All right, guys. Till next time.